I'll try doing some more bioforge. I'm never going to get used to these controls. So we have a missile out here that I can take the bomb out of. A horrible beast out here. Big gun. Let's see. And we have um, three missiles. And if we shoot one, he walks over to it, it distracts him. I just don't know what to do now. Like, does he ever stand up there? What's that? Like, does he get out of the water if I wait long enough? that easy. How do we how do we use an item? Oh we can walk across its body now, right? Gotta get those walrus bladders. Quite a hot commodity, you know. Why do I still hear another one of these horrible beasts? <laughs> the butster is dead. Good job. Uh, where the heck are we? On the other side. Uh, so through. I don't have a mouse cursor to point. But. Okay. So this way is the big tunnel with a locked door and Eschers behind there. And that way there's some sort of weird alien device that we can't read. And I guess we need Eschers help. This thing's going to kill me. Well then. A B 
big ham. So is that enough to do it? Cause I think I did this last time and I just, it just it looked like it pissed it off instead of killing it because I didn't sit there and watch it die. And I could still hear it roaring out here, so I didn't think it was dead. Probably need to bring this bomb to that door that's locked. Well, it's not very scary anymore. Um, let's see, I should probably save. If I can even remember how. Have the bomb. A bomb. A bomb. Get my alien device out. Can we get there in time? Whoa. I didn't even see how much time that's at. I'm just gonna hurry. No! Seconds, that was shit. I don't have time to play with you guys. I'm out of here. So we have to what, drop this and run? I feel like it's been 20 seconds. Try it a little bit quicker. <sighs> a big gun. A big gun. 
A big gun. That sure is a big gun. A bomb. Oh, I don't have my um <laughs> my alien cube ready. at all this time. Oh, I love this loud beeping in my ear. Mmm. So good. Where do I have to get? Is there something else I need to do? Let's get our alien device out. Oh no, I've dropped my big gun to get over here? A bomb. I'm gonna have to come back for it. Time to save, but I'm saving. Save. Oops, can't spell. Oh, I, I de equipped the freaking cube. Okay, maybe saving isn't a good idea. bring up the thing so I can't move. seconds at this point. It must be completely scripted.
The dying is significant. frustrating thing ever. This whole section has been nothing but very frustrating. drop it? It didn't look like I did. Okay, let's double check that I do actually drop it. It's physically there on the floor. Are we far enough away yet? Well, heck yeah. Let's go get our big gun. I 
thought this guy was way bigger than he actually was. Boom. save when I get up on this platform again. Save Dr. Escher. What's this? fire suit. That's okay, it's pretty beat up. Oh. Are you Dr. Escher? Hello. What the heck is that? A tick? gun overheats? The blaster didn't overheat. Now I just want to go back and get my blaster. How long does it take to cool down? Okay, I think it's cool. Is this how we die? To a tick? <laughs> it completely stunlocks you if it hits you. Okay. Let's try that again. Maybe I need to punch it. in this room with the bug.
big bug. Let's get a combat stance. Let's figure out how to do things. Let's give him the old one too. Really? What garbage is this? the the flute oh we have a water bear can't just keep going without dealing with it can't just leave dr escher there to die oh, i think i can I probably shouldn't though faster than it, so... Ooh. I shot it and it didn't really seem to do a whole lot. Just sort of, I uh, was stunned for a moment. Maybe I'm not supposed to fight the same like head on? Or maybe like now's the time to Nope. I'm dead now. When you're down on the ground, what are you Is it really supposed to just stun lock you to death? I can't do literally anything after being hit once. That'd be so good that you can't even let it hit you once. Maybe I need to find something else to destroy it with. What's this? Oh, it's you! I don't know if he is actually looking any bloodier as we're hitting him or not. Yeah. 
big gun is not feeling the most powerful. He is looking bloodier. Oh, so you can go fight that big bug now. Come back here. Criminal scum. There is no way to get out of the crater before the reactor goes critical. Unless you surrender, you are dead. You are Borg. <laughs> oh, so we still have a bug problem. We can explore in here now. something on the floor? A big gun! A big gun! A big gun!
No, I'm not, I'm not sure I am understanding it. So these three on this side, they rotate the, each of these sort of rows. On this side, these rotate these columns. That means I have no idea how to interact with this uh, square up here. They're puzzles I'm too dumb to figure out, though. Wait a minute. Maybe I'm not trying to get these all the same color. Maybe I'm trying to get them to match this top square. Did it. This looks like another one of those horrible creatures though. Why would I An alien artifact? Is it? 
million towers. It's radioactive. Oh, I'm gonna have to fight this stupid bug thing. Don't go in yet. Well, later, Asher. Not saving you, I guess. No, let's go back in. Because it made me go through the tube when I activated the talisman. Loaded my game instead of saving it. After that whole stupid puzzle again. And fight this guy again. Yeah, I'm. Let's see if I can do that puzzle quicker though this time around. Just waiting for my gun to cool. Uh, it makes it incredibly stupidly difficult. It's not just you, it is the, um, the old Resident Evil games and Dino Crisis and stuff have the same sort of camera, and it's, uh, it's horrible. It's always been horrible. Tank controls plus these fixed camera angles is a bad time. Like, the camera angles plus just how sluggishly I turn when I want to turn around. Disgusting. Uh, they get good. This whole game is played with the numpad normally as well, so they're even more fun. I guess people were still, um, you know, experimenting with how to do games like this. Because a lot of games didn't, um, like a lot of com there were a lot of computers that didn't have mice even back in the day, so doing something that has, like, 
decent controls where you're walking around in different directions without analog sticks and without mice is a real pain in the butt, so. There were a lot of different games that were just trying different things. Uh, and this, this is a thing that just didn't work. But it was a lot of experimentation back then. There was no like standardized. This is these are the controls that virtually all games use. It's definitely you know, the wild west. No, I'm still I'm still overheated. Okay. Well, if you look at um, a numpad, at least older numpads, it's not just numbers. Like there are um, there are arrow keys on the numpad. That's why we have like a numlock button to switch between it being numbers and functions. Like the numpad has page up, page down, uh, all four arrow keys. Yeah. And so I can see like how it made sense to someone to. Let's make everything be the numpad. And you just have this tiny part of your keyboard that you have to worry about, and you don't have to move your hand very far to get to anything. Uh, but unfortunately, it means that, like, because I don't have a numpad, a lot of the controls are like, use control page up to punch. <laughs> you know, <laughs> shift page down. Which, uh, uh, alt end to kick and stuff like that. And it's just very, uh, very bizarre. I had to remap my Q button to numpad 5 because numpad 5 isn't like a real button that, that, uh, Computers have that don't have numpads. Like all the others are existing keys, like arrow keys, page up, page down, um, and and home. But um, the five isn't a key, so there's no way for me to type in numpad five, and that's the key that you used to shoot. So it's kind of important. Oh my goodness, how many times do I have to shoot this? At least I haven't taken any damage, actually. I'm not going to have to waste, like, a bunch of battery healing. And I say that, but now I'm probably going to get hit and take damage. Time's left to shoot you.
What an epic battle. I'm just casually walking around it. Robotically walk away from you, my good sir. Just chill for a bit while, while my gun cools down. There we go. Uh, it's pretty much just a big health sponge, which isn't like difficult per se, but um, it's bad. It doesn't feel great having to shoot this guy a million different times. Like, I'm literally running in circles around him. This isn't difficult, but. But stupid. like one more clip and um why isn't the tick this easy? Or is it I'm just not and getting the right groove fighting the failure. I like how he flails his arms. should also have like either much tighter turning radius or have like a button that quick reverses you 180 degrees like a lot of um, older games like this that had these sort of controls and camera angles did have a 180 reverse button so yeah, there's no, no reason they couldn't though. Something else besides shooting him that triggered him to run away last time. Does he need to be like standing in a particular area? I don't even remember what I did last time. Besides just get beat up. He's the killer, though. I think he's the one trying to sacrifice us to the enemy.
Come on, run away. Punching me is the trigger? What a joke. I guess it forces you to get down to Sir Map Health. Not there good. is no way to get out of the crater before the reactor goes critical. Unless you surrender, you are dead. Do our Rubik's Cube, then I'll save, not load. It's not Rubik's Cube, it's some other puzzle, but Rubik's Cube-like matching puzzle. Easy that was. An alien artifact. Who would have thought actually knowing what you're supposed to do in the puzzle makes it quicker? Okay, so we'll get in this room and then save. We'll double check that we're hitting the save. This is save. Save.
Pinball with him. <laughs> I don't know if this is what we're supposed to be doing though. Doesn't feel like we're accomplishing anything. He feels maybe like immune to damage. Pin tardigrade pinball. It's my favorite sport. Oh, we did it! What a disgusting smell. <laughs> I'm surprised we didn't take any damage from it exploding at our feet. Don't kill me. Mustaba shot me, the traitor bastard. He's already beaten you to it. And he sealed me in. This place is now my tomb, too. What are you doing here? Are you still human, or are you a machine? A little bit are of both. Their machine. Save me. Don't let Mastaba destroy all that's left of this race. If you are who I think you are, True. you won't fail. Let me rest. Well, uh, we wrote like a billion journal entries just now, so... I need a doctor. I need a doctor. There's an alien sarcophagus that appears to be cracked. The last thing I need is to have to do with another one of those. Yeah. The alien creature's gone. There's no way it could have fit through the heart suit machine airlock. Where'd it go? We saw where it went. There appears to be some kind doctor. of force field protecting this body. It appears to be holding some. These floating parasitic creatures may be pretty dangerous. When they curl up, they're virtually impervious to harm. This must be the woman known as Dr. Escher. I'm lucky I got to meet her at all. By the looks of her, she doesn't have long to live. There's no way for me to get her out of here. And nothing I could do for her if I did. Damn you, Mustaba. Asher's not going to make I it with or without doctor. medicine. I have no idea what could go wrong with my cybernetic body. If I have any kind of chance of getting off of this rock alive, I know I'm going to have to keep it in the best condition that I can. I need a doctor. Wait, what? So is this basically telling me not to bother healing her? I need a doctor. Is this telling me to save my medicine for myself? Does that mean I could use medicine on her? I need so a I have, doctor. Do I have two healing devices? No, just one. Let me rest. I need a doctor. I need a doctor. Thank you. Let me rest now. Here, take my translator. Go to the alien temple. You will need to know what it says there. A part of what you are now came from that place. Uh, 
Okay. I'm sorry about what they did to you. Oh, sorry. Let's go to the temple. A shiny new suit. any enemies in here the last time I was here so it should be pretty simple wow what a mansion an alien artifact easy. Preliminary translation of writing in non-reticulum languages, south wall text. The following text is translated from language one. It's been engraved into the wall and is estimated to be approximately 110,000 years old. Once this place was the site of northern city, it was a beautiful paradise that floated above the ground where leaders slash learners and workers slash soldiers lived and worked together in peace. This was before the age of drastic upheaval. Northern City was destroyed during the 14th Territorial War when the housing of its gravitational reprocessors was sabotaged. All 20,000 of its citizens were killed. This was to retaliate against the leader slash learner Hosg who ordered his workers slash soldiers to attack Oceanic City over a philosophical conflict with a leader slash learner there. By the end of the 14th Territorial War, 87,000 soldiers slash workers and 11 leader slash learners were killed. The place known as the Second Northern City was constructed at the place where the Northern City once was, but underground, as has become the custom since the age of drastic upheaval. Now that the world population has decreased to such a small number, and the wars that threaten to annihilate our people continue, we, the last of the soldiers and learners of New Northern City, place ourselves into hibernation. It is our hope that we shall awaken in a future age where non-violent social order is possible. The following text is translated from language to... It has been written onto the wall and is estimated to be approximately... 110,000 years old. 
Northern City used to be in the sky above this place. It was much nicer than this city back during the time before the leader-slash-learners became dictatorial. A leader-slash-learner from old Oceanic City made it fall down because one of our leader-slash-learners sent a bunch of our ancestors to attack him after he said he did not like a piece of artwork our leader-slash-learner had made. By the time they had settled their dispute, they had sent a whole lot of us to kill each other. A few other leaders-slash-learners died, but not nearly enough of them. After the time when the workers-slash-soldiers decided that learners could not be leaders anymore, they built a new northern city here. It's not nearly as nice as the old city, because they put it underground. At least no one can make this city fall down. Few people came to live here after it was first completed, so lots of the city was turned over to workers who run this place. Now that almost everyone is dead, and most of those who are still alive are trying to kill each other, we've decided to wait it out in the dream. In the Matrix. Um, okay, so that's the south wall. What does the east wall gotta say about it? No, it's not. Uh, <laughs> preliminary translation of writing in non-reticulum languages, East Wall text. The following text is translated from language one. It has been engraved into the wall and is estimated to be approximately 135,000 years old. This site is the planetary headquarters for astronomical observation. There's a gravitational ring that runs beneath the, the circumference of the planet. This can be used to accelerate extraplanetary craft to speeds that would enable them to escape our gravitational pull, and eventually one day to reach other solar systems. The following text is translated from language to, It has been written onto the wall and is estimated to be approximately 110,000 years old. They used to look at the sky and launch spaceships from here. The following text is translated from language one. It's been engraved in the wall and is estimated to be approximately 135,000 years old. In building this place, we honor a learner who came before us. A learner whose thoughts and ideas were more precious than no relative equivalent for translation and have left us with a great and mighty foundation to build upon. He was the first master learner, whom we know by the name of Gen. It was Gen who revealed the secrets of the power of the center of the world. It was Gen who fettered this power and made it a tool with which to build a civilization. Our civilization has covered the surface of our world and has reached out to the stars through utilizing the creations of Gen's mind. Thanks to Gen, no learner shall ever know the heavy burden of work, leaving the mind free to create. It is the ancient Gen who sleeps at the heart of this place, until such time when he shall awaken to bestow an even greater gift upon our race. The following text is translated from language 2. It has been written onto the wall and is estimated to be approximately 115,000 years old. We, the workers and the soldiers of the Fix, are denied by our station of knowing many of the ways in which Gen made the existence of our race better. But we who are workers and soldiers are of a giving nature, and we say praise be to him anyway. <sighs> There's a lot of text on this damn wall. For safety reasons, visitors are instructed to disengage their personal gravity controls while inside the facility. Platforms or other vehicles passing within no relative distance comparison for translation of this facility may experience drastic alteration in their gravitational fields, making them quite unsafe. Due to the heavier gravitational force, learners must not enter the soldier development levels once their personal gravity controls have been switched off. Collective meeting and relaxation areas have been provided at variant gravitational levels for your convenience. There's an operational tubeway station here to facilitate travel from one area to another. More language. Turn off your gravity before going in or you will hurt yourself. 
Do not try flying any kind of ship around here or you could crash. Learners cannot enter areas where we can go without having their low gravity on, or it will kill them. Things are lighter in some rooms and heavier in others. You can go to a place where things are as heavy as you want them to be. You can get to other places from here. Um, cool. Uh, ee, west wall. What's the west wall got to say about it? Actually, can I do anything with this middle area? No. Uh, so I'll be honest, I'm not really learning anything important here. Preliminary translation of writing in non-reticulum languages. Westwall text. The following text is translated from language 1 and is estimated to be approximately 135,000 years old. In building this place, we honor a learner who came before us. A learner whose thoughts and ideas were more precious than no relative equivalent for translation. And, oh wait, is this the same... Oh, this is not the same. And have left us with a great and mighty foundation to build upon. He was the second master learner, whom we know by the name of Vid. It was Vid who revealed the secrets that enabled us to reconstruct our physical bodies. It was Vid who sensibly divided the classes of the Fix race into leader slash learner and worker slash soldier. Guided by the wisdom of Vid, our civilization has achieved an order and a stability that has enabled it to achieve many great things. Thanks to the gifts of Vid, the learner and the worker both know their respected place and can be content in fulfilling their role in our society. It is the ancient Vid who is entombed beneath the heart of this place, so that his memory will live for now and all time. The following text is translated from language 2. It has been written onto the wall and is estimated to be approximately 100,000 years old. We, the soldiers, and now the leaders of the Fix, owe not only our creation, but our former position with our society to the great learner Vid. After some brief reflection upon our former existence and position, we have decided that it is most unfortunate that Vid has already died. There are many of us who would have considered it a great honor and a pleasure to have personally escorted Great Learner Vid to the realm of death. This is taxed by the learners. The leaders slash soldiers who command this facility have instructed me to write this sign in our language. By entering this facility, we learners all automatically assume the following responsibilities. We learners cannot disobey the direct order of a leader slash soldier. Whenever asked, we learners must explain or facilitate the comprehension of any and all leader slash soldiers in situations requiring technical knowledge on demand. No more than two of us learners may gather together to speak to each other at any given time. We learners are subject to physical and electronic search whenever entering or leaving the facility. Failure to follow any of these rules may result in punishment by physical beating, incarceration, or death, depending upon the circumstances. This is more soldier slash worker slash leader text. If you ask a learner a question and you do not get the answer you want, or if they talk in a way that is hard to understand, or do strange things, or if you feel that you cannot trust them, or if they will not let you look at their things, feel free to do whatever you want to them. Okay. Uh, so these guys kind of suck. I don't know what we actually learned that was of any importance in there. That just felt like a huge waste of time.
I didn't mean to shoot that. I want to use my alien cube. Oh, why can't I? How would I use it from this other platform? So stupid. Later, pathetic robots. I guess this alien that I've been following and fighting is a soldier slash leader. Right, so we have two tubes to go through. We have three tubes to go through. I'll try to give it a try at some later date, wink wink. Alright. Um, I guess we just use this towel. Actually, what's this in the middle of the room? Nope. An alien artifact. This pillar seems to be the centerpiece of the room. I wonder what its function is. It's an inscrutable puzzle. I don't understand. Some kind of alien keyboard. Great. So 
I need to figure out an alien keyboard. <coughs> Did something. We screwed up. Okay. So each of these um, tubes has like a, a weird art piece over top of it. Maybe we just need to try and recreate those patterns as best we can. It's like this one over yonder looks like ow, a Y. Let's see if we can do something like that. So we don't want to accidentally create any of the top ones. I'm assuming that all four top ones will just drop a, a horrible creature onto us. I can't even see where I'm actually aiming this thing. Okay, we kicked it once. How many times did we have to kick the last one? Bleeding. Making me the victor.
Let's try that again. Really? Okay, one will come out every single time. I could still kick it or something. With how easily it can sunlock me, though. Gun for gun is overheating. I don't think playing pinball with it does any good. No! No, it's killed me. Oh, it didn't. Oh my god, that was close. Hope you were the last one. It's not the last one, we already know that. Let's heal ourselves, please. Cannot heal myself. What? What am I doing? Turn on the gravity. Probably. What's happening? Am I dead? Yeah. Gee, that's a big gun. <sighs> it's 
Sorry, one sec. A box. Amazing. Um, so I know this is a side one. Oh, sorry. Um, I don't know how that Y looking one over there is made. This one is a cross, there's sung at the top, and then there's some diagonal at the bottom. an angle? That's a why. <sighs> this one's just weird looking. I don't. I don't know. not go in this one. Um, save. Yeah, save over. A big tube! <laughs> Dude. Let's see what happens. This is going to put me out into the void.
shape, but I can't move. Oh, okay, that's actually really cool. No, I don't want to go back through. So I can use the recoil of my blaster to propel myself in different directions. Yeah, let's go back in there. again. So maybe I need to get him to walk forward onto that particular panel. Step on it for a moment so it creaks. Oh, a fun party. Cookies and almond water.
I must admit, your persistent will to live is admirable. When will you die, damn you? I need to, I guess, kick him onto one of those platforms, right? Maybe? Ugh. I must admit, your persistent will to live is admirable. When will you die, damn you? Admirable opponent. I almost regret your death. What's this? It seems you have left behind a present. Why is it kicking people is way easier than blasting them? A shimmering cube. <laughs> a shimmering cube. Okay. We got a force field cube. the heck are you talking about, Ace? I don't even know anymore. This device the Drog had is some sort What's a Drog? I bet I missed something. This device the Drog had is some sort of shield, like the one that covers them in the sarcophagus. It appears to be stronger than the armored hard suits, and seems to provide life support for me. Amazing! Save. Don't load. Let me walk through this course. Go on. Destroy yourself. I made you. And I can always make another one of you. Why do I want to destroy myself? Ah, uh, more puzzles. So the big colors go the reverse direction. Is that it? Or am I? No. So which colors go the right way? Well, green and red must go the right ways. Blue and orange are reversed, and so are these. So green and red are the only ones that go the way that I expect them to go. I've already screwed up, but whatever. It looks cool. Oh, I can uh, just reverse it.
what's the goal here? Do I want to just get to like the other side or do I want to color in every single s space? Now yellow and purple are going the way I want them to, so I, I, don't, I still don't know how this works. So what determines whether it's reversed? Is it just every other is reversed? That might be it. This is, is a good one. Which means this is a reversed one. Which means this is a good one. Which means this is a reversed one. Which means... This is a good one. Reverse one. I think I need to color in every single one of these. How do I do that? Well, from here, I can't, um... Oh, I can. Of course, okay. So that's good, so this is a reversed. Good. Reversed. Oh no, I can't get out like this. How does this work?
we did it. Yeah, slime. enemy. Hello. Yeah, this is an enemy. I love parties. Oh, I can't shoot my blaster when I'm in here. What the heck? Okay, let's go back in this room. You guys having a party in the chat? I'm very confused. Okay, yeah, so when I'm force fielded, I cannot shoot my blaster. <laughs> what game are you guys playing? I'm very confused. of the big gun. My buddies. An alien battery. Oh, an alien battery. Uh, how much battery does that compare to my current one? a lot of power. A big gun! A big gun! I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Yeah, I think Buttspot loves parties. Right here. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do right now. 
done in this room. The implications are very dangerous. It's true. I think cashews are disgusting, but I'm not allergic to them.
people like almond water. I prefer soy water. Soy water's not a thing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Ignore me. Two but seven. I would rate it that. Dodge those things. coming to isn't it like trivially easy to make almond water slash almond milk type of hound. Like just a dog?
whole row lined up, and I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. appears to be a human with long black hair growing on the head. They have sharp claws and extremely large mouth with sharp teeth. However, this is often unseen to the amount of hair. As mentioned, they walk on- No! no! I died. <laughs> As mentioned, they walk on all fours and have a lot of power when they attack a target, despite appearing sickly skinny. Hounds hatch from eggs that originate from the hive. Interesting. I hear the hive, I butt of an area and hollow butt, lol. Oh, I can use this now. Okay, so there's some sort of weird aliens in there now. I have a button I can press. I have a paragon! Unit 3 reporting! A section of the floor has just lifted away! It's uncovered some kind of opening! Please advise! This is Mustafa. Check out the hole, but proceed with caution. Okay, crush the money trust go in. Explore it. Who doesn't like thick water? Grenade with a ridiculously long fuse. What the? Ah! Remember to drink your own water. Big gun. Oh, oops. Okay, so they're both dead now. A big gun. Indeed, Ace. Indeed. Save. Grenade tag. Uh, 
this. Now I guess we can go through here. I guess it was blinking earlier because it was sealed off by the sphere. Super almond water, indeed. That should be a, a power up. Oh no, don't get. I want to turn on my shield first. It's the same button to use an item, though, as to go in the tube. Get any insight into what order those symbols need to be in? This looks like one side needs to be all this weird symbol. I don't understand. They're talking about like a real game or something? Like I know vaguely what the back rooms are, I know. But like I don't have any idea what you guys are talking about right now. <laughs> it's very confusing to old boomer me. Backrooms Dimension mod for Minecraft. But it doesn't have almond water or cashew water in it. Yeah, I know the creepy pasta, I just don't know all this other stuff. I didn't know there was like expanded lore for it. Beyond the original pasta. Involves cashew water and almond water. Uh, I don't know how to solve this puzzle.
I didn't think realms could, but I don't know. I've never had a realm. Big dumb. Okay. host um, on just any computer. You just have to download the server and run the server. Okay. For some reason, the whole first time I was looking at this puzzle, I did not understand these uh, lines. Oh! 
Thank you. Proton Power Gaming is now following. <laughs> Thank you, Proton Power Gaming. Strange in this room. This is not where I'm supposed to be. to get something to drink. I'll be right back.
I'm back. Yes. Were you a patient cactus? Smilers are generally hostile, and there have been many confirmed sightings of them. They can be identified by their signature reflective eyes and teeth gleaming in the dark. The best way to escape a Smiler is to keep eye contact. Smilers tend to reside in dark areas on level 2 and level 3. Their base is known to be the Smiling Room. Interesting. Alien cube! I love the smiling room. contact and slowly butt a wobbut if you want to survive meeting them. I agree. Unit 14 reporting. I've got motion in sector 5. Oh no, there are bad dudes out here. I've got a motion lock. Please confirm. This is Mustafa. Lock confirmed. It's him. Take him out. By the Paragon. It's a bad idea to get in my way right now. Job done right, call the professionals. Oh my god, is he going to kill me even with my fancy shield? You people have worse problems to worry about in this place than me! It's a bad idea to get in my way right now. You people have worse problems to worry about in this place than me! Take that. If you only knew what happened here, you would turn your guns on them instead! I'm quite injured. I can feel the spray from this bottle reinvigorating my flesh. Just thought you should know. A blaster? Oh no, that's a shitty blaster. A big gun! A big gun! Uh, let's see. Yeah, I can't I can headbutt.
Yes, I'm, I'm aware. Yes. Yeah, I told you, I am familiar with the back rooms. Combat's so hard. The thanks, thanks, Ace. Unit fourteen reporting. I've got motion in sector five. No, I lost. Big time. That's not only this I've big gun. I can't Please shoot it while I'm shielded. After they're in like range. Oh, I thought you were just uh, shaming me for being Why such a. Have you got some sort of reflective suit on. Take that reflective suit off, or else I instantly die. Now, so this big gun is pretty reporting. useless. I've got motion in sector five.
people have worse problems to worry about in this place than me. You want the job done right? Call the professionals. If you only knew what happened here, you would turn your guns on them instead. Let's heal up. And save. No. A medical device. User. A medical device. Amazing. Okay, we're almost fully healed. Let's put that away. Let's save. We will save after every single battle because I am numb. Yep. Goodbye, big gun. I don't need you anymore. Unit 12 reporting. I've got a bead on our primary target. He's hard to track in that reflective gear. Watch it, boys. Our friend seems impervious to energy weapons. Yeah, our friend. He's impervious. You Couldn't see. stay away, could ya? We're the ones who started this fight. Now, I'll finish it. People have worse problems to worry about in this place than me! Some custom bodywork. His angles. Well, once you started this fight, now I'll finish it. Oh my god, I'm so badly injured. Use our gun anymore, we should have gone back and got our other battery. Just had a lot of charge left. Couldn't stay away, could you? You're the ones who started this fight. Now I'll finish it. I'm gonna do some custom body work on you. to tell the devil who sent you. The heck? The combat is the worst part of this game. I just want to do puzzles. Reporting. I've got a bead on our primary target. He's hard to track in that reflective gear. Watch it, boys. Our friend seems impervious to energy weapons. Yeah, he's impervious to energy weapons. Couldn't stay away, could ya? You're the ones who started this fight. Now, I'll finish it. People have worse problems to worry about in this place than me. You're the ones who started this fight. Now, I'll finish it. I'm gonna do some custom body work on ya. Why do they get to do so many hits in a row? Be sure to tell the devil who sent you. Can I just run past him? I'm gonna try just running past him.
Unit 12 reporting. I've got a bead on our primary target. He's a hard to track in that reflective gear. Target. Watch it, boys. Our friend seems impervious to energy weapons. Couldn't stay away, could you? Later. Well, I'm not impervious to those energy weapons. So we did not get shot. How do we do that? Unit 12 reporting. I've got a bead on our primary target. He's hard to track in that reflective gear. Watch it, boys. Our friend seems impervious to energy weapons. Our friend. Couldn't stay away, could you? I'm gonna do some custom bodywork on you. Now come on! Punch! Sure to tell the devil who sent you. <laughs> That's so stupid. It's a good thing I don't have like a death counter. Cause man, it'd be through the roof. Unit 12 reporting. I've got a bead on our primary target. He's hard to track in that reflective gear. Watch it, boys. Our friend seems impervious to energy weapons. When do I need the flute? Couldn't stay away, could you? I'm gonna do some custom bodywork on ya. Later, bro. Big medical device. He caused us lots of trouble, Monkey Shine. Monkey Shine? Who calls people Monkey Shine? Mustaba stranded you here and left you to die. Even if you beat me now, it doesn't matter once the reactor goes. Mustaba stranded you here and left you to die. Even if you beat me now, it doesn't matter once the reactor goes. Mustaba stranded you here and left you to die. Be sure and send my regards to your friends when you get there. When the angle is great like this, 
I can do the combat. I can take them out without taking hardly any hits. When the camera view is like totally weird and really up close and stuff and like in the other fight, I don't know. I don't know why I just uh, fail so hard there. A logbook. Their locks currently sealed, locking patterns in two horizontal bar configuration. The grid's in linear inversion mode. Two horizontal bar configuration. Linear inversion mode. Uh, well, whatever that means. horizontal bars. I figured it out. me and try to save yourselves. Mustaba stranded you here and left you to die. Now you're messing with the elite special space forces. The elite special space forces. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, don't die here. You're five to dropship. We nailed that freak. Now get your butts back here on the double. He was too elite for me. Shooting me. <laughs> See ya. Now you're messing oh. with the elite special space forces. Smart, you'd forget me and try to save yourselves. Mustaba stranded you here and left you to die. If 
you were smart, you'd forget me and try to save yourself. Mastaba stranded you here and left you to die. Once you're dead, I'm going home. Please don't kill me. He's, he's kill me. Unit 5 to dropship. We nailed that freak. Now get your butts back here on the double. I think I almost had it. Trial and error. The video game. Stand just right, can they hit him? No, they go to the sides. I guess fancy roundhouse kicks maybe aren't the optimal way to do this. You'd forget me and try to save yourselves. Gotta agree with that. We call this the old back and forth. Wow, this is taking a really long time though. These kicks must do a lot less damage than the Randaps kick. Now you're messing with the elite special space forces. Run. Really? Back to that. Mastaba stranded you here and left you to die. No, run! Heal while he's shooting us. Once you're dead, I'm going home. Once I'm dead, you're going hungry. You'd forgive me and try to save yourselves. Come on, dude. <laughs> Unit 5 to dropship. We nailed that freak. Now get your butts back here on the double. How long is that gonna take? We hit him so many times. That is ridiculous.
we're off to a real bad start. Unit 5 to dropship. We nailed that freak. Now get your butts back here on the double. Smart, you'd forget me and try to save yourselves. Mustalba stranded you here and left you to die. on this ship? Why am I in combat mode? Icarus needs a really powerful battery. Crap. I'm gonna have to use this crappy battery instead. A battery? drop on the ground. A battery. I don't have to find anything else. Is this is this game over? Did we do it? We didn't learn who we are. We didn't um, we didn't find the any of the secrets out. We still haven't got the code to like his encrypted secret medical logs. Wait, what is this? Oh, I should have saved again before going in here. I'm scared there's gonna be like a vehicular combat. That's it. We did it. Game over. 
Take that, the game. Jeez, what a, what a nightmare. We never even used the flute. What was the flute for? I'm so confused. But yes, poggers, indeed. Whew, thanks for chilling with me, Ace. Uh, I had planned on streaming till 10, but I can't think of anything that I want to stream for like 40 minutes. So, I'll probably, uh, probably just call it, call it quits. I don't know. Unless you can think of something else interesting. <sighs> yeah, I think that's it. Later. Thanks for chilling. And I'll play more Tales of the Neon Sea on Saturday. Because I need to be a cat detective. You better not miss your bus tomorrow, then. Um, if you do, you need to, I don't know, punch me in the face or something to wake me up so I can drive you. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Heck yeah, then. Then that's awesome. Thank goodness. <laughs> because I was really scared of that. Well, cool. <laughs> Later, then. Oh, wait. Is there anyone else streaming? We could raid them with just the two of us. I guess it says I have two viewers. I guess that probably doesn't include I'm playing, me. drinking a chewy drink. Oh, stop. <laughs> Drinking a chewy drink. What's a chewy drink? Uh, no, it doesn't look like there's any any one that I'm interested in rating. Everyone else I'm following is either offline or they're huge channels that it'd be stupid to rate with two people. <laughs> Oh, okay, so you weren't just doing nothing yesterday and today. Okay. That's good to know, then. I'm sorry, then, for being so upset. Not that I was very upset, but... Cool. Well, I'm going to stop the stream now. Later. <laughs>